Changa, west of Durban, remains tense but calm following violent protests earlier this week. The unrest was triggered by the killing of two local leaders. Two people have since been arrested in connection with one of those incidents. It's been four days of marathon meetings as government and leaders of both the ANC and the SACP attempt to find a resolution to the crisis. On the ground, an uneasy calm. But despite efforts at peace and unity, a joint memorial service was cancelled today. The process of healing can be an overnight process. It's a process which we need to allow it adequate time so that all parties who are involved, including the community, will then be able to become the drivers of the situation to bring about a peaceful environment and the stability in the area. Local leaders have committed themselves to peace. On our side, uh, ANC and the ACCP still we will meet as politicians. Uh, I think later we'll issue another statement, but not today, because it's a long, it's a long process. We have agreed as, as leaders from the ANC and from the ACCP, from the police, that uh, all of us must make sure that we are able to stabilize uh, the area. We must normalize the situation uh, and then give hope to our people of Inchang <coughs> and appeal for peace and everlasting peace in the area. Two separate funerals will be held for the victims on Sunday. A strong police presence remains in the area. I am Mklongo, SABC News, Njanga.